Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about my personal goals for the month of November. And as always, if you guys have any goals that you wanna share, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I will link my goals for last month up here if you guys are interested to see what my areas of focus were last month. Did I say last year? Last month. Um, but usually I share a goal that I'm striving for um, per month in four different categories. Personal, personal care category, a parenting goal, uh, a goal, an area of focus in our homeschool, and then one as a family. And if we don't have one in a particular category, I won't say one that month, but I usually do have things that I notice throughout the month prior that I'm like, uh, maybe we should really take some time to focus on that as a family, or maybe I should take some time to focus. And these are not, again, I just, I like to give this disclaimer every few months if somebody is new here, um, these are not to add pressure to myself. These are actually relieving to me because it helps me narrow down just one area of focus instead of trying to be like an amazing mom all around or trying to like balance a million things personally. It helps me to just be selective and focus on one thing and say everything else can wait until next month. So there's that disclaimer. I'm not striving for perfection. I just can only do the next right thing, focus on one thing at a time and pray that I have another opportunity in the coming months to really focus on something else. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is homeschool this month because that's probably my easiest goal. Um, this month, our, my homeschool goal is just to, you know that no shave November? I don't, is that still a thing? Do people still do that? Um, I want to do no break November because we, we had a rough September with a hurricane and then we went on a vacation. So we essentially only did two weeks of school um, in September, if, if even that. Um, October we did pretty well, but I did have an end date for, uh, for our term that I was really striving for. I had to push that back a little bit. We had our exam week and then our break week. So again, like maybe two to three weeks, depending on if you would count an exam week to be a week of school. I personally do, but we didn't do any new learning. We just kind of did some narration and, um, sharing what we've learned. So I want to focus on November now we're going back to school um, the first week of November. That'll be our first week back after our exam week and then our week off. And so, well, actually that's the week you're gonna be seeing this video. So um, my goal is to do, you know, all November with no break other than Thanksgiving and the day after. We do a lot of learning the week of Thanksgiving, so I don't take the whole week off. In the past, I've tried to, but we do cranberry Thanksgiving and tons and tons of just, there's so much fun stuff to learn. So maybe the, our school days will look different and we might not be doing reading and math those days, but I will still definitely be doing school with the kids. So we're gonna count those as school days. And the rest of the month, I want to do no breaks. Um, and it's not that we, I don't have any breaks planned, but for me, I need to keep that in mind as far as the things I commit myself to. Um, there are certain things that I had planned and I made phone calls and said, you know, can we do that in the evening instead of in the morning, things like that. Um, dentist appointments, I moved to the afternoon instead of the morning so we can get our schoolwork done in the morning. So I just really want to refocus in the month of November. I, I say that often and it, it's true, it happens often. Throughout our year-round school, I need to, every couple of months, just say, we're gonna dig deep, and this is going to be a really focused priority is our homeschool. So for November, that's my goal, because I want to be able to take you know time off for Christmas and right after. Um, and I will, whether we do well or not in November, but I would like to take that off and be content knowing that we finished some things that I would like to get finished. Um, our family goal for this month, something I'm going to be talking to my kids about tonight, and that is just to speak words of life to one another. Um, I would just like to focus on that as a family. I actually wrote something down originally a couple weeks ago, and I was just working on meal prep, but I don't think that's something that we're really struggling with as much as we are with the words we're choosing when we're speaking with one another. Um, my kids are very uh, easy to <laughs> figure out as far as meltdowns and what helps my older ones specifically. My kids could be having a really bad day and if I allow my emotions to get wrapped into the mix, I'll say things like, why are you acting like that? Or, or I can't have you acting like that, things like that. I mean, 
it, it's not necessarily like words that are hurtful but also they're not going to build them up or help them out of that situation um if i say things like oh remember yesterday when you held your sister's hand and helped her into the car seat even when i didn't ask you that was so helpful that is just who you are the way you're acting right now isn't showing me that that um who you are and i just love i love you so much and i love the things that you do you're such a good helper would you mind telling me what's causing you to forget that that's your character, that that's the way that God created you? When I speak things like that, it's instant, instantaneous. <laughs> don't make fun of me, I don't know. It, um, it's like an instant shift and they are able to communicate clearly. It's like they know, just kind of like how we are, <laughs> veering off topic here, how we are with the Lord when we're reminded that we are um, righteous, we're redeemed, he sees us as a masterpiece. It's, when we're reminded of that, it's easy to let go of the shame and just climb up into our dad's lap, right? So that's kind of the way that I want to parent my kids, but also the way I want them to communicate with one another. So my goal is to choose more life-giving words, affirming words in conflict specifically, um, and to also guide my kids toward conflict resolution in that way as well. And that's an area that John and I often focus on as parents, but we don't between the siblings, but our older kids specifically. So Bella, um, you know, she's kind of always been my big kid. That's kind of what you do with your oldest kid, I think, is you just, they're always being treated like a big kid. Um, and Jesse, who is eight, by the time Bella was eight, I was communicating with her on a much higher level than I have been with Jesse. And that's not because Jesse can't handle it, it's just because I see him as one of the younger kids. But in reality, he is perfectly capable of being spoken to and um, kind of called to a higher standard in a positive way, not in like a, you know, now you have more responsibility way, but I can communicate with him like I did with Bella when she was eight. There's nothing wrong with that. So. I need to kind of shift my focus here and see that my older kids really are both capable of um, more conversation with me and more understanding than just Bella. So if you're new here, I have four kids. They're 10, eight, almost six this month and two and a half. So, um, so yeah, that's my goal. It's just kind of encouraging them toward more conflict resolution, positive, affirming words, speaking life toward one another, um, and, and just kind of setting them up for that because that's our, that's our role as parents, right? Is to help them, uh, practice being people <laughs> because they're, they're people and they're not just kids. And so I think we have to see past, how do I make this end to make my life as a parent easier and see, um, how can I set them up for successful conversation and relationship in the future outside of our home? So that was a really long-winded way of saying that we're going to choose to be kind <laughs> this month. My personal goal, I touched a little bit on this last month, but I wasn't fully ready to share this whole story. And I, I feel like I still, it's still not gonna be like a complete story because I don't want to mislead anyone. Um, but last month I talked a little bit about having, you know, more self-care and I'm running myself into the ground. Last month, I had just found out that I um, had an official endometriosis diagnosis, and I didn't really share much. I shared a little bit on Instagram, dipped my toes in the water as far as like how much I'm willing to share. Sometimes I'll share stuff there to kind of feel it out, because it's hard. I mean, it's hard to open yourself up online to 13,000 strangers, essentially, but, um, but I don't really feel like you guys are strangers. Anyway, um, because of that, I just knew that I had allowed that to go on for way too long and not, I just, I didn't make the appointments for myself. I didn't put my own health as a priority. And I felt that in many facets of my life, many areas of my life with relationships, with time alone, with my work schedule, with um, my health, everything. I just was not, of course there's a plane right now. <laughs> All right, I was not taking care of myself. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of gauge, like what do I need? What are my needs? How can I advocate for myself while also still being the primary caretaker of myself and for other people and wanting in love to help my husband? So um, that being said, I, I have had 
the right appointments, I have spoken to the right people, I have all my options on the table. Um, we're pretty sure we don't want more kids, but the options available are, are a little overwhelming for me right now, to be honest. So I'm going currently the holistic route. I believe this week is the week I'm posting my morning routine, and I do go a little more in depth as far as like what, um, what things I'm using, what supplements and things like that. But I'm not wanting to like do a whole dedicated video on it, at least yet, because this is pretty new to me within the last few months. And I don't have any authority to speak on this topic whatsoever other than my own journey. So if you guys wanna know more about this, let me know and maybe in the future I'll do a video on it, but this is just where I'm at. Um, it was, it's been a long journey to get here, a couple years worth of you know, misdiagnosis or guess, guessing, um, guessing games as far as what could be going on because everything seemed so disconnected until I made the appointment with my, um, I've been going to a midwife for years, um, you know, wanting to have home birth with Annabeth and all that. And I just finally decided I needed to call back my old OB, like the medical one who, who has the authority to do t certain tests and things like that. And so that's who I went back to and where I received the diagnosis that tied everything together in one, one bow, <laughs> you know, just like, okay, this is because of this, this is because of this, this is because of this, this is not that, that, and that. So it's been a long process. I feel like I am finally feeling like I have control over my body again. I feel like um, the, um, I feel like I have energy back. I feel like I have a little bit more hormonal, emotional control um, and I have such a decreased pain level where I just cannot believe that I lived with this for so long, not dealing with it. Um, and to be honest, you know what it took? It took going um, to a retreat with my husband even after I had heard this diagnosis, still not putting myself as a priority, I went on a church retreat with my husband and one of the days I had to miss the first two hours because I literally was crawling on the floor in pain when I, from the time I woke up, like every now and then like gripping onto something and shrieking. And because typically that pain level for me would be in the morning, uh, he was at work and would never see it and I never would, and you know, it's kind of like when you deal with it and then the pain goes away, you're like, oh, what a relief. Like, I don't have to deal with that for three or four more weeks now. And so I just was never like aware of how intense it seemed or how bad it was until he witnessed it and was like, you, this is not good. Like, you need to take this seriously. And so thank God for that moment, even though it was horrible and painful. Um, so that being said, that just happened a few weeks ago. My goal for the month of November is to just be consistent, consistent with these supplements, consistent with these, um, you know, with my nutrition, consistent with the things that I know are supposed to help because the next option is something I'm willing to try, but I'd really rather not. Um, and so if there's a way to avoid certain things, I want to under medical supervision, of course, but um, I won't know unless I take it seriously and unless I am consistent. And so I put all my little supplements and everything out in the same spot in my kitchen, which you guys will see on my morning routine video. Um, but I just need to be consistent. Even if I eat, poorly one day, my tendency is to be like, well, I ate a lot of processed food. I'm going to feel bloated. I'm going to feel terrible. And then just like not do the rest of the nutritional things I need to do because I'm like, scrap the day, try again tomorrow. But I need to be consistent with some of these other things, um, supplements and things that will help and not just try to start fresh every single morning. I have a bad habit of doing that. So that's my goal is to just kind of focus on that along with um, upping my protein and just focusing on all around wellness. Interestingly enough, having a focus on this, even for the last few weeks, I've actually lost a few pounds, which was not initially my goal, but I feel so much better now. I'm like, wow, okay. Like this can work for multiple reasons. And so just kind of having that self-focus has been, uh, not full self. Well, you know what I mean? it's been really helpful and been very beneficial in multiple areas um, beyond just this endometriosis diagnosis that I'm now um, 
going to be working with. And then my parenting goal is a simple one, but not so simple. And that is just to see the day through my kids' eyes. I talked a lot more than I was um, planning to, so I saw I was about to time out on my camera. Um, I don't remember where I heard this, but it was one of the best little tidbits of advice I ever got years and years ago. I mean, I think maybe Bella was two at the time and somebody said, that in the evening time they try to see their day their kids day through their kids eyes and um not that you can make up for a whole day at the end of the day and not that you can you know fix everything if something went wrong but just to try to finish the day well and that is something that i i just i really love to meditate on that thought every now and then like well how is this day going through my kids eyes Oftentimes, it has the opposite effect. Sometimes, you know, I think I need to see the day through my kids' eyes because I'm such a terrible mom. They've had such a terrible day and I need to just save the day. Sometimes, though, it's like, no, my kids had a really good day and it's letting myself off the hook and then I enjoy our evening routine or our evening things a little more than I maybe would have otherwise. So just trying to see the day through their eyes have conversations with them, consider um, not just how your day went with them, but how their day went with you. It is actually a sweet thought and it helps so much if you're hard on yourself. Everybody here knows I'm hard on myself, um, but also every now and then it's good to kind of step back and see. I haven't given my kids much of my time today and I can recall three or four times where this child or this child tried to show me something and just try to, um, to see what they saw that day. So those are my goals for the month of November. If you guys are interested, like I said, click on that little card up in the corner and you can see my goals from last month. Um, and if you guys have goals for this month or just this upcoming holiday season in general, leave those in the comments below. I love to see what you guys are working on. I think it's really fun. Um, and also kind of revealing and helpful as a mom to read what other moms are working on and it helps you see like not everybody has their whole lives together and that's okay. So I hope you guys like this video. As always, if you like these goals videos, give this video a thumbs up. That is really helpful for me and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.